we are beginning the Digital Language Teaching Global Webinar by DC4LT. My name is Mikhail Fominik. I am a researcher at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. I am very glad to welcome you all at this uh, event. We have two exciting afternoons with digital language teaching, with uh, language teachers, language teaching researchers and linguistic researchers, practitioners, I hope also administrators and other professionals who are interested in the topic of language teaching and using digital technologies in language teaching. I am here today with my colleague in this uh, short welcome message and uh, also sharing the leadership in uh, the DC4LT with uh, Maria Pirifano. We all will tell you a few words about um, about the dc T initiative. We will uh, tell you a few words about uh, what you can expect today at this event, and also what we have uh, done in dc T, which stands for Digital Competencies for Language Teaching. I would like to invite Maria, maybe you can tell us uh, a little bit more about uh, the program for today and for tomorrow. And then after that, I will say a few words, a few more words about dc T. Okay, so hello to everyone from me as well. I'm Maria Perifano and I am the scientific manager of uh, the dc project. We are so happy to welcome you in our final event uh, here today. After three years of work, uh, today we celebrate the closing of, uh, of uh, our project and uh, we have here today wonderful keynote speakers. I would like to introduce also myself. I am an Italian language teacher and a technology and haze learning expert, project manager and a senior researcher at the Smart and Mobile Interactive Lab of the University of Macedonia in Thessaloniki. And I'm also adjunct professor at uh, the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, the Department of Italian Language Studies and at the Hellenic Open University in Teachers English Language Language Master Program teaching topics related uh, to computer assisted language learning. So uh, these two days, we will have uh, a very, let's say, rich agenda, as you see here. First of all, uh, we will have a keynote, why online language teachers need epistemology and other tips for practitioners by the professor Ursula Stickler from the Open University of UK. We are so happy you're here with us today. <laughs> So the second keynote uh, will be delivered by uh, Professor Jack Burston, how to effectively exploit ubiquitous technology in the teaching and learning of foreign languages. Professor Jack Burston is from the uh, Cyprus University of Technology, and we, we are very, very happy to have you here today with us. Then we will uh, continue with a discussion, open discussion with um, our two keynote speakers and our third keynote speaker, uh, George Nikros, uh, he's a um, a professor George Nitros, who is going to deliver his keynote to tomorrow. We would like also to tell you that after the discussion of our experts, we will also have open discussion with all of you. All the sessions that will continue are the results of our project. So all the members of our team will uh, present uh, the results of our project. Uh, we will discuss about digital competence assessment framework and tool, digital competence trainer guide, digital competence for language teachers toolkit by the dc And of course, um, the word will pass also to you for questions and uh, any clarifications you might uh, want. So the next day the, on the 7th, we have, um, uh, again, we, we start with um, a keynote with, uh, our, uh, John, with George Nikros, the professor uh, uh, of Hamad bin Khalifa University, Qatar. And uh, uh, he's also a professor at the Department of Applied Linguistics at the University of Massachusetts, Boston, USA. He will uh, talk about automatic text uh, readability analysis towards explainable artificial intelligence models in applying linguistics. Then uh, Professor George Nikros, who are so happy that he, he will be uh, today with us and tomorrow, he will give um, also a workshop. He will deliver a, a workshop on introduction to computational text analysis using Voya tools. And then we follow with two more workshops that uh, tomorrow. One workshop by Marina Hesipenko from the University of uh, Prague. And um, she will deliver this workshop on teaching English multimodally. 
And then the last one will be delivered by Antonio Savi from the Cyprus University of Technology, uh, who is going to deliver a workshop on using on how to use Moodle quiz to create language activities. So, and then we we'll, we will have the closing of uh, the two days event. And we are really happy and thank you so much for being here today and tomorrow. We hope we hope you like uh, our um, two days uh, event. And thank you, Maria. I, I don't know if you want to add anything else. So now I wanted to say a few more words about uh, the C4FT. As you might have uh, understood that uh, we are a team of uh, several experts in various areas related to language learning and technology. And we joined forces together for a um, European project, which is called Digital Competence for Language Teachers. In the project, we have four major objectives to foster sustainable integration of digital technology in language learning, to facilitate language teachers to become professional online and blended tutors, guide language teachers in critical use of digital resources and tools, and finally facilitate communities of language teachers. I have to stress that uh, the project has been planned before the pandemic. And of course it has uh, changed quite a bit since uh, the beginning of the pandemic. However, the, the pandemic uh, highlighted the need for digital competencies and the need for uh, teacher training. I hope that most of you will agree with that. So, in that perspective, the, the results of the project are becoming more in demand and more important. I would like to also say a few words about um, the timeline of the project. We are completing the project in about uh, three weeks. We, be we began in September 2018. We conducted some background work, which we will present in one of our flash presentations. Then we presented two times at uh, online and face-to-face -face event called Innovation in Language Learning Conferences or ICT for All, which were in November 2020 and then again in November 2021. And also in uh, March and October this year, we did two series of webinars for language teachers, producing, of course, digital resources for them and leaving quite a bit of legacy in uh, a community and in resources and then recordings of all these uh, webinars. So we are now here in December 2021 with a global webinar where we report most of the results that uh, we have achieved in uh, a greater and a wider agenda with invited experts and invited workshop organizers to give you a bit more of a breadth and also to spread uh, the information wider into the community. I can also just mentioned a couple of uh, platforms that we used in the project. One of them was Google Classroom, where we hosted our webinar series and where most of our teacher training resources are currently located. This uh, Google Classroom platform is open for anyone to join and browse the materials, even though that's, uh, we are not running the webinars constantly. Most of the topics that we've covered contain uh, lots of useful information and recordings of the previous webinars. We also started a community on uh, Discord, and uh, we will say a few more words about uh, this in the second day, but um, we would uh, like to welcome everyone to stay together and to share the news and the announcements and the invitations and similar information in our server on Discord. Uh, finally, as uh, part of my introduction, I would like to say a few words about the publication, scientific publication that we have uh, managed to put out uh, during this project. These are four papers, Digital Competencies for Language Teachers, Do Employees Seek the Skills Needed from Language Teachers Today, which was published in 2020. Then another article, Digital Searchlight, a Study on Digital Skills Being Sought Amongst Language Teachers again in 2020, and two more articles in 2021, Digital Competence Assessment Survey for Language Teachers and Learning Theories and Teaching Methodologies for the Design of Training in Digital Competence for Language Teachers and Narrative Review. So all these publications are available in our project on ResearchGate. And of course, they are also available in the corresponding digital libraries. We'll come back to some of these uh, resources that I just mentioned. 
later today in the event. So stay until, until the end. And now I think I will invite again uh, my colleague Maria Pirefano to introduce our first keynote speaker.